Hello, hello, welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to me losing my voice. I've just finished Mobile UK, and I've literally come from the Hilton Hotel on Park Lane, jumped in my crew tea, and I've arrived at Rint Vehicle Design, because today is the concluding episode in my Targa series. My Targa's been getting restored uh, over the course of a couple of months now, and today is finally the time we come to reveal the car with its restoration complete. I literally, I haven't been in there yet. I'm excited, I'm over the moon, I can't wait. It's time to get in there and go and have a little look. I'm actually gonna have to put the Targa on a truck because I actually had to come here in this. I got let down on a lift last second, so I had to jump in this and hoon here to meet my appointment, which was at 1 p.m. So we've taken the crow team. Nice to stretch his legs, having been in the SLS all weekend. So, come on then. I did mention on my Instagram that I was coming down here, so a couple of people have turned up to say hello. But this then is the glitzy end of Rint. The car you've seen most of its time actually in the body shop, uh, which is another site actually just down the road. But this is kind of the glamorous bit of Rint here. So no prizes for guessing what is in the middle there. Got all the cars parked around it. We actually have got a 912 and a flat nose turbo as well. The flat nose is actually now for sale with Rint. Obviously they've got all sorts of bits going on. So I'm gonna go inside first and show you around before we get going. Denton, Hello, Tom. what's going on? All great. Yeah, all excellent. Great, so in here then, have a little look around. For this place, if you're into Porsches, please do come and say hello to the guys. It's Monday by the way, it's Freedom Monday, so if you don't see Mars and whatnot, don't have a go. But this place is an absolute mecca. If you're into your Porsches, or even if you're not, you will be if you come down here. There's always stuff going on here. Brian and the team are really, really friendly, so make sure you give them a call and come down and check it out. There's all sorts going on here, all sorts. Really isn't a better place in the UK. Booze here as well. Chaotic dog. There is gonna be some stuff on Rinse social media as well. Something more professional than what I'm putting out here. So, many of you remember the car was actually dumped here, ceremoniously dumped here, months ago on this very spot. Where we walked around it and we said, we're gonna do a, like, a little tidy up and we're just gonna kind of make it a little bit more um, pleasant and palatable. You know, there's only a few little bits and bobs wrong with it. Car long story short, if you've missed the whole series, that then turned into an extensive bare metal resto with the pros here and it's been in their body shop um, for quite some time nowhere near as long as I thought it would they've literally just machined through the work um, at a rate of knots like I can't believe how productive they actually are they've got through this really really quickly and I've come down and I filmed those episodes anyway you've probably seen them if you're watching this you've probably already seen those videos so I'm not going to hark on too much and the other thing to note as well whilst it's been fully restored and they've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours on this it's been through the paint shop the car is going to look quite similar so if you're expecting me to pull off the covers and it to be chrome Gucci wrapped you're gonna have another thing coming what have we got going on over here make a little bit of noise oh very rare hiding over in the corner there is very nice causing havoc that's the engine room by the way so it's a really great setup here you must come down here if you're into this sort of thing you must come down here so this is their engine room they've got trimmers down there it's brilliant i just come down here to nose around sometimes i think brian here's sick of me you got some more porkers here and we've actually got ferrari so they do some stuff with other brands but it's predominantly porsches okay a crowd is assembled here we go then let's have a lift off I'm over the moon guys, thank you so much. It looks amazing. Wow, the state this thing turned up here in, and now it looks like that. That's incredible. You smashed it lads, thank you so much. Oh my guys, wow, it's like a brand new car. So what they've done then, you've seen the bodywork being done, but it was a whole lot more than that. They've taken it back to bare metal, put basically new bits of metal, basically rebuilt as much of it as they could. The wheels have had new finish on them as well. Um, and they've actually been hand polished, so that's why they literally look like brand new wheels. You may remember before, this was like kind of a satin finish. It was all kind of tarnished and crap over the years. The center locks were terrible, and the black paint was all chipped and peeling off as well. So now, 
they're literally brand new wheels and apparently this is a complete pain in the ass to do and it's taken loads and loads of time literally like the rest of the car over its life it's obviously had a few knocks so they've actually had to restructure the shape of the arches as well and not only that inside the car the interior has had a full refresh as well you may remember that it was looking super tired and the steering was actually flapping and kind of talking to you as you drove around the seats have been recolonized so they're literally brand new now and this center pattern here it's literally like it rolled out in the factory in 1987 i can't believe what they've done it's literally like brand new in here it's bonkers the headlining as well they've attacked and they've also bought this target top back to life as well so these can get a little bit horrible and crappy over their lifetime but they've sorted that as well apparently a complete nightmare to do and also another nightmare i mean it's been a complete nightmare from start to finish but the other thing and those that take these things apart will know that the windscreens in these are a complete nightmare and they've managed to put the screen back in apparently it is like the worst job in the world to do and it's taken loads of them i think someone lost a finger but i'm over the moon i'm actually blown away it looks so 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 good I'm so, so happy. It's brilliant. Very nice day to collect it on as well. You may remember then, when I got it originally, it was bodged with like horrible tape along here, which I think rang alarm bells with the team here because they saw tape kind of along here. It was covering rust and all sorts of nasties. This as well, this whale tail, which technically shouldn't be on the car. This was actually from a red car, so you could see the red underneath before obviously they've now painted it and done it properly. So a load of cosmetic stuff. Just looks incredible, over the moon. Can't get my head around that, how have they done that? Bear in mind this car's 34 years old. Literally looks like it's just left the production line. Right then, before we go, the car has been moved. We're just getting some little snaps actually. Here at Rint, it's very uh, scenic. And the Rint Media team. Rint Media team, is that what, you're, what, what I can call you? <laughs> I'm gonna have to get rid of that. <laughs> There's way worse that's happened on this channel. Rint Media team. I'll take some snaps of the Targo. And the more observant ones amongst you will realise that the roof is off as well. Just looks so good. You know what? I thought the guys here would smash it, but I didn't anticipate how good it would actually look. And I know some of you will be shouting saying, you know, this isn't the rarest or most expensive 911 in the world. But to be honest with you, it is to me. It's just so cool. And obviously the backstory behind this car, it's a birth year car. So with that, I'm giving away exactly how old and decrepit I am. And also it's solid black with an Ascot special order interior. So this interior is actually a special order back in the day. This wasn't a standard color palette. Um, and actually the carpets in here are black. They should be brown, um, but because it's special in the interior. And if it, in fact, if anyone's watching and you've got carpets to match, they're still on back order. We're trying to get hold of some. So there's a couple more things actually. It's not complete, completely finished. I've got a fancy gear knob coming, which is going to be a bit of a surprise. Uh, and also the engine does need a couple of little fiddles. There's actually a leak with the engine. So um, the guys here are going to sort that out. Hence, I'm kind of going to leave it here as well. It's all worked out quite well. Um, so it's not completely, completely uh, ready to drive. Those that have restored a car before will know that your work is actually never done. But cosmetically, it's pretty much done and it looks brand new. On that note then, thank you very much for watching. And with luck, this thing will be ready for Modball Classic, which is taking place very, very soon. If you're interested in Modball Classic, then make sure you hit the links below and join. If your car was launched before 1999, then you're able to join. It's 1999 and before you'll be able to join on Mobile Classic. Effectively, it's gonna be the same route as Mobile UK, which we just did, but in classic cars. So it remains to be seen how that's going to go uh, and how many pieces of gearboxes are all over the M1. Anyway, that is very soon. I'm gonna be on there in potentially this car, although if it doesn't make it in time, then one of my other classics. John will be taking his, and there's a whole load of you as well that already signed up and they're gonna be on the rally as well. So look forward to seeing as many of you as possible on that. For now, a huge thank you again to the guys at Rint. They've absolutely smashed it. I'm blown away. And it goes without saying, if you want any Porsche related bits and bobs, make sure you give the guys a shout and please do come down and check it out. For now guys, thank you very much for watching this series and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.